G'day everyone, it's Dave here, and today we're going to be looking at two single stroke rudiments. Uh, now, if you know anything about the Percussive Arts Society, they do have the 40 international standard rudiments, and you can find them on posters and probably Google it and do whatever you want to do. But these two rudiments come up after single strokes. Now, probably a good place to play them, given I've just done four beginner's tutorials on single strokes. Here's two specific rudiments that you can really work your single strokes in. So the first one, the single stroke four, it's pretty straightforward. It's literally just four strokes. One, two, three, four. That's it. Okay. And make sure that when you practice this one, practice it with a right hand start and a left hand start. So there's a few lefts. And here's a right hand start. And some lefts again. Okay. Now, the concept's pretty simple. Four single strokes. The real execution of it though, and when you actually apply it to things, comes down to the timing that you put it in and how you go about doing that. Now, one of the most common ways you might see this one done is triplets followed by a quarter note. That's just one example. It could be a thing called 16th note triplets followed by an eighth note. We won't get into the technicalities of it today. Really, you just need to try and make sure you can play these four strokes in such a way that you can execute them well. We're gonna think of it as a set of triplets or what are called eighth note triplets, and then a quarter note. And that'll give you four notes. So if you think of it as one triplet two, and then do that again, three triplet four. So one triplet two, three triplet four. One triplet two, three triplet four. Now starting with the other hand. One triplet two, three triplet four. One triplet two, three triplet four. One triplet two, three triplet four. Two, now that's one way you can count it, you can count it various ways, but that's the one we're gonna stick with for the moment to get the concept of the rudiment across. Now, there's a few things with this rudiment that I've seen some differences in depending on textbooks or depending on posters that I've read it on. One of the common ones is when you play the first three notes, we play them lighter, and then we accent the fourth note. Now you might've noticed I was doing that there because that's pretty much the way I practice it a lot of the time. Um, but I have seen things where it's all just written as exactly the same volume. I've also seen accenting the first note. So there's been a few little things that I guess that, you know, you could call them discrepancies, but at the end of the day, if you can cover all of those things, you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna play it the way I normally play it, which is three lighter notes followed with an accent. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The other way around, starting with the left. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You could accent the first note as well. Um, so you got one, two, two. One triple two, three triple four, starting with your left hand. One triple two, three triple four, one triple two, three triple four. You could accent none of them, just keep them all the same. One triple two, three triple four. Starting with the left, one triple two, three triple four, one triple two, three triple four. Look, I would suggest just practice all of them because that will give you a lot of different variations on what you can do with it, particularly when you're looking for certain sounds around the kit, when you're playing fills or whatever else. It might come down to just your dynamic control, which is controlling the volume. All right, now we're going to put the metronome to this one. So we're going to start at 100 beats a minute. So the count will be one triplet two, three triplet four, one triplet two, three triplet four, one triplet two, three triplet four, two. Now we'll start with the left. One triple two, three triple four. One triple two, three triple four. One triple two, three triple four. Okay. Let's build the pace a little bit. I'm going to go right up to 100 and 130. Now from here on, I'm just going to play it one way around just to save time. But obviously, you can go back and practice this leading with either hand. I'm just going to do right hand variations from here. So one triple two, three triple four. Okay, let's bump it up. 150 beats a minute. One triple two, three triple four. Okay. 
170. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Take it one more step up to two hundred. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Four strokes. You notice I'm accenting the fourth stroke. That's the way I'm kind of used to playing. I tend to utilize that quite a bit and we've put that with the metronome. So yeah, one triplet two, three triplet four. There's other ways to count it, like I said, but that's a good place to start. So that's given us what's called the single stroke four. Now we're gonna look at a thing called the single stroke seven. Now this you might think of it as one triplet two, triplet three, and play it in what's called three, four time. We're only gonna do three beats per bar. One, two, three, one, two, three, one triplet two, triplet three, one triplet two, triplet three. That's the way we're gonna look at this one. So one triplet, two triplet, three. Starting and ending on the same hand. One triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three. Two triplet, three. And again, you could start with the left hand as well. Now, we're going to put the metronome on again. Uh, let's start at, we're gonna start at 120. But remember, we're thinking three beats now, not four beats. One triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three. So it's two sets of eighth note triplets and a quarter note. One triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three. Okay. And you notice here I'm accenting the last note as well. You could approach this a couple of different ways also. You could accent the first note as well. You could accent the other downbeat, which is the two. So one triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three. Either which way. I think, again, I'm gonna say practice all of them. They're really good. I'm gonna build the speed a bit. 140 beats a minute, again we're thinking three beats. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and let's go. Take it up. 160 beats a minute. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome. Sounding a bit like a waltz, because we're in three, four time. 180 beats a minute. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's becoming a bit of a mouthful to say all the triplets, that's why I'm not doing it at this stage, but you could count the quarter notes. Final step, we'll go to 200 beats a minute. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Alrighty, so that's two new single stroke rudiments. Obviously, like I said, in the first four parts where I did uh, single strokes for beginners, this is probably a good logical step to go to next. We got the single stroke four and the single stroke seven, which are two really good rudiments to learn how to do. So like with anything else, take your time, build it slowly, make sure you've got accuracy in what you're doing, 
account carefully so you know where you're up to and get that metronome going as well just to try and really train your timing hopefully that all makes sense and i'll see you in the next one cheers